What's on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ross, I like games and today we're going to be talking Dragon Ball Super, we've been away for a little while, new baby, all that stuff, but we are back and the second themed booster is starting to leak this is the world's martial arts tournament the yellow cards leaked today so i thought let's have a little bit of a go and to be blunt these are cards where we like working in pairs now there's one new leader been revealed it's jackie chun before awakening you attack a leader card you draw a card when the life is at four or less, you choose two of your energy, switch them to active, flip this over. Nothing particularly exciting about that, to be honest. After Awakening, it does get a little bit better. When you attack, draw a card and you gain 5,000 power for the rest of the turn. Not bad, 20,000 power with an extra card. And during battles where this card is attacking a battle card in rest mode, your opponent can't combo. This is going to be nice for shutting down decks. Now it's only after Awakening and you've got to be able to attack a card in rest mode. And it means that you're going to be using your leader to go after a card in rest mode rather than going after their leader, etc. There's downsides to this, but there's got to be a little bit of potential there. Now we do have a super combo going on here. I mean, you get super combos for all of them, but it's future martial artist Son Goku. It is a super combo. It's one of the ones if your life is five or less. Draw a card and you get the 10,000 combo. We have had a few like the Namekian duo Sonal. Sonal? Gonna be honest, not 100% sure on the pronunciation, but it's still quite nice to have that. Now, in terms of pairs here, we've got Toughened Up Krillin and Toughened Up Chiaotzu. Now, Toughened Up Krillin is a two cost, both must be yellow. 15,000 power and 5,000 combo, that's all right. But if Toughened Up Chiaotzu is in play in your battle area, you gain 5,000 power and critical. 20,000 power crit for a two energy card that ain't terribly bad ladies and gentlemen now you might be thinking well hang on a second what about toughened up chiaotzu is it any good well it's a single cost which makes it even easier to get on the board it's only got 1000 power which kind of sucks but it's got blocker so you can use it to block an attack always nice but if toughened up krillin is in play you get to draw one card and you have 15,000 power so turn two you can have both of these out toughened up chiaotzu lets you draw one card per turn per chiaotzu and then you've got 15,000 power which ain't bad whereas toughen up krillin basically gives you a 20,000 power crit that ladies and gentlemen not a bad little combo now we've got some unending moves here as well although these are a little bit more expensive unending moves Yamcha two cost one must be yellow it's got barrier quite nice stops it being gotten rid of very easily and if unending moves Tian Shin Han is in play this card gets 10,000 power and critical, which means a two cost 20,000 power crit, which to be fair is the same as toughened up Krillin. But then we get unending moves Tian Shin Han. Now it is a four cost two yellow, which means it's getting a little bit more expensive. Side note, look at the card side by side. They make like a little picture of two cards. That's really quite fun. And 20,000 power is quite nice, but then it is a four cost. It's got double strike. You do two damage rather than one. That's pretty nice. It's got barrier like Yamcha has. That's pretty nice. And once per turn, you can choose an unending moves Yamcha and KO it. And then you draw two cards and KO one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode. So although it is a little bit expensive, you're getting a lot out of it. Double strike, barrier, drawing two cards, not too bad. You do have to give up your Yamcha, which is essentially a 20,000 power crit. But it's something to bear in mind. Now we have another pair of Masters. Master Roshi Marshall Meister is a one cost yellow, 6,000. I mean, it really just lets you out combo a 5,000. As obvious as that sounds, it's the only real reason to give it six. And 5,000 combo as is standard. It's got barrier, which is quite nice. And then once per turn, you can choose a Master Shen Marshall Meister in your battle area. Switch it to rest mode and draw one card. Drawing cards isn't as easy in Dragon Ball Super as it is in some card games. Being able to just draw an extra card per turn, that's not too bad at all. 
But what does this other master do? Well, if we have a look at Master Shen Marshal Meister, it's again a one cost yellow with 6,000 power and 5,000 combo. It's got barrier. And once during your turn, you can choose a Master Roshi in your battle area, switch it to rest mode and draw one card. So there are a bunch of one costs that let you draw extra cards. That, ladies and gentlemen, kind of funky. Now, Double Chop Nam, not a character I'm particularly enamoured with, but a card that has a lot of potential. It's a free cost with two yellow. 15,000 power, 5,000 combo, all good. If your card leader is a yellow world tournament, this card gains dual attack and barrier. So you get to attack twice and you've got barrier as well. So, you know, maybe Jackie Chun. I mean, I'm going to be honest, there's probably going to be a better option. But Jackie Chun would work here. And then once per turn, when you attack, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO it. But you've got dual attack, which means that you can attack twice, choose two of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO both of them. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. Now, the other cards don't work in pairs, but it is worth having a quick look at all the ones that are revealed. Ginormous Strength Jiren. It's a... Uh, Free cost, two yellow, 15,000 power, 5,000 combo. It's got critical, meaning that if you do damage to your opponent's life, the cards go to the drop area rather than hand. Always nice. And when you play it, you get to choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less, switch it to rest mode, and it can't be switched to active during your opponent's next turn. Now, this is only when you play it, so you can't use this every turn, but it basically takes one of their battle cards out for a turn, switches it to rest mode, giving you a chance to KO it, or just leave it in rest so they can't attack with it. Sounds like fun. Stenchful Bacterian is a 2 cost, 1 yellow, 10,000 power, 5,000 combo. When you play this card, you may choose one card in your life and add it to your hand, so it gives you an extra card while getting you closer to Awakening. And if you do, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, switch it to rest mode, and you gain 10,000 power. Now again, it's only when you play, it's not an every turn thing, but a 2 cost, 20,000 power card, which also switches one of your opponent's battle cards to rest mode. And remember, you can usually only attack them in rest mode, so it means you can KO something you'd otherwise not be able to. I can see uses for this. We've got Risque Ranfan, a one-cost yellow attacker, 5,000 power, 5,000 combo. When you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 3 or less, switch it to rest mode, and you gain 5,000 power. This is for a single cost, and you get essentially a 10,000 power attacker while putting into rest one of your opponent's cards with an energy cost of 3 or less, and we just talked about the advantages of putting a card into rest mode. Not bad for a single cost. But the card that might be the most exciting of all of these yellow cards for the new theme booster, I'm the World Champion. It's an extra card, one cost. If Son Goku Childhood is in play in your battle area, draw two cards. Now, drawing cards, as we said earlier in the video, is very good. Always nice. But actually, there's another advantage here. You see, a lot of people are currently playing no opening Sun Goku. Which, if you combo with it, meaning you don't actually pay the free cost, you just pay a one cost and get 10,000 combo, and your leader card is yellow, you play this card in rest mode, and then you get one life and add it to your hand. So now the card is sitting there in rest mode, so you combo with this card, the no opening Sun Goku. You get a card out of your life, you get an extra card, you get closer to Awakening. You get the 10,000 combo, and then you get to play I'm the World Champion to draw two cards. A one cost card that helps you draw two, while also comboing and taking advantage of a widely played card which everyone has already agreed is a very good card. That to me, ladies and gentlemen, sounds like fun. I'm excited to be back looking at these Dragon Ball Super cards, and I'm going to be doing a lot more so. I'm at least, very least, every Friday going to be looking at the new cards that are revealed, so come back every Friday for that. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing an opening of Tournament of Power. Yes, I know it's a bit late, but we're really behind in Europe. Tournament of Power is only just releasing. 
So, sorry about that. But there's going to be more box openings. There's going to be more looking at future cards and analysing them. And essentially, whatever other things sound like fun to me. So, do make sure you're coming in and joining along. Make sure you click like. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And follow me over on Twitter at the Wassy for all the other goings on. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time. Thank you very much for listening and watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. Wassy plays.